during the period of a woman's life in which she is ovulating, the uh, endometrium undergoes a cyclical change in morphology. Uh, and to make things very, very simple, you could think of endometrium as what it looks like before ovulation or pre-ovulatory when it is primarily under the influence of estrogen versus an endometrium which uh, is post-ovulatory uh, in the last half of the cycle, which is primarily when it's under the influence of progesterone. There are a lot of subtle differences, and if you're really sharp, sometimes you could even narrow down exactly what day in the cycle it is, particularly in the post-ovulatory phase. But for matters of simplicity, let's just say there's two kinds of endometrium. There's secretory, which is in the last half of the cycle, which is the uh, progesterone phase, which starts at approximately, theoretically, day 14. And then there's proliferative, which is pre-ovulatory, in which it is primarily under the influence of estrogen. This is a proliferative endometrium. And I'll tell you why. Because it's proliferating, it's growing under the influence of estrogen. And because it's growing, you will see when you look at these glands, as well as the stroma between the glands, that there are mitotic figures. And it's not hard to find mitotic figures in glands and stroma during the proliferative phase. There's a mitosis, there's a mitosis, There's a mitosis. There's a clear-cut mitosis. There's a mitosis. There's a mitosis. And similarly, if you look in the stroma, you will not have a hard time finding mitotic figures either. Uh, mitoses and lack of secretion within the cells and the lumens are the hallmark of the proliferative phase, which is the pre ovulatory phase, which is also called the estrogenic phase. And I thank you yeah. very much.